And so Netflix's Castlevania animated series just came out uh, July 7th, and here's our review. Get ready for it. So if you don't know what Castlevania is, you can go ahead and watch our previous video. We'll kind of give you a basic rundown, but basic synopsis is it takes place in a Eastern European country. I believe they call it Vavarlia or something. Do you remember the name of the country? It's really Wa weird. Wachia Wa or something like that. And pretty much such a Transylvania. Uh, yeah, Transylvania, exactly. <laughs> um, which is a fake place too, isn't it? No, is that's a real, real? country. Is that real? Okay, yeah. never mind. Um, <laughs> sucks to be in Transylvania. But uh, <laughs> um, I don't know if it sucks there. I'm, I just made that up. But it, it follows uh, pretty much Dracula's rising up and pretty much casting the whole entire country into darkness for pretty much them burning his wife at the stake. So he wasn't too happy about that and decided he wanted to uh, get vengeance on the whole of the human race, or at least everybody in this country. And it kind of starts from there. So we'll kick it off with, uh, let's start, what do you want to start with? Writing, animation, or voice acting, Brendan? Let's, let's start with the writing, because that's what I think people care about the most. So the writing, the basic script, it, I thought it was very well done. It, it, it was well written, maybe a little over the top a little bit of the times with the church rhetoric they had going on. Now, it, the setting is pretty much it's Dracula versus the church and you have the good guys kind of coming in the middle. Uh, and yes, the church at this period of time, it takes place in the 1500s or the 15th no. century, I should no, say. Yeah, 15th century. 1475 is the 1475, well, four, yeah, 1476. And now the church was a totally different thing then than it is now, but they do seem to go a little over the top with some of the rhetoric they, they it's, start spitting It's also out actually not at all like what the the period that they're actually looking at is not Earlier. like what they're presenting. No, well, yeah. actually, the, the witch trials and hunts mostly pick up in the 16th century, so later, oh. <laughs> and other weird things, but... Aside from that, but that can, and this is a fiction, but still, they they, they kind of go a little bit hard on that. But other than that, I would say a that bunch it's, of it, like cliches it's well written. in that regard. Yeah, well, tons of cliches, of course. Yeah, you can tell it's done by somebody who probably hasn't done all the research. But again, I say that. How do you research a fictional country in a fictional time with fictional beings doing fictional things? It it, it can't really. So you can kind of just create what you want. Other than that, my that one critique of the writing, I thought it was pretty well written. Uh, the, they seem to have developed these characters pretty decently. Um, I'll get to why I say pretty decently a little bit later, but it, it seems like there's witty banter back and forth. It, it keeps the conversation flowing. It doesn't feel like they have many dead points in the series. Now, I watched the whole series. Brittany watched the first two episodes. There's only Which four, is half. So it's not, I watched. Yeah, you watch half. I watched it all. Um, but it... it it does feel like the writing is well done. Um, so I was, I was happy with that. What is What are your thoughts, Brendan? I actually thought the writing was just terrible. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, and I'll say this. So we, we, you mentioned that, that plot point that uh, Dracula got angry because they burned his, his wife for, for being a witch. Um, Which was, honestly, she was just a doctor. I'll tell you. Science. Fr well, Here's the funny thing that's, with all that's that. That's the first five minutes of it, so I didn't spoil in it. The, in that first scene where you're, the very first scenes, you're introduced Actually, to her. Actually, that was weird. Yeah, the very first five minutes, first ten minutes of the, it was really weird. But it gets it was, better as it goes. I was actually thinking throughout the conversation when he's meeting his, who ends up being his wife. Your wife. She is she is an annoying character. This makes no sense. Why has a Dracula killed her? I hope this this scene she ends kind of with Dracula killing her. I was she's actually happy to see the next scene that she is dead. Like you're not. So, I know. What the, <laughs> well, so then you like the writing because it took you to the part where she died. Didn't I like, like that aspect, but that's be, for all the wrong reasons though. Because the it's just it, it, it's like um, the. Uh, Tasha Yar in the first season of uh, Star Trek Next Generation. You're happy that she's dead, but you're supposed to feel sad about it, right? At, this is even a bigger deal because the whole basis of the direction and motivation for Dracula and for the show is around, oh, this good person was unjustly killed. However, 
I don't care about this good person. I actually yeah, they didn't don't really want her to live. Good she was. They just kind of showed her show up at Dracula's house, say, I want to become a doctor. And she and acts like an arrogant her. prick when she shows up. She's like, oh, I'm with Dracula. You know what? I could teach you some manners. Like, what the, what the hell? You just intruded on his house. And he's a vampire. Why are you d- alive? Okay. <laughs> You're lucky so, he's not right. that. So we're going to disagree on the writing. I thought it got better but, as the series no, went on. But, like, but even later yeah. on, like they, a lot of things are just don't make sense. Belmont gets in strange conflicts and he acts like he's scared of stuff, but then he's really not. He just throws himself into to stupid situations. Um, they do this weird thing where they try to imitate. Also, by the way, a lot of this stuff is was not like the game. If this is based off Castlevania Three, which doesn't have a whole lot of dialogue, none of it has a whole lot, so they're yeah, supplying they're stuff. stuff the but they are also like infusing things that actually kind of contradicts what's going on. Because like in the game, as far as I'm aware, it's the church that gets Dracula to go after, or to, that gets uh, Belmont, and you know, kind of pushes him to go after Dracula to begin with. And in in the show, it's like Belmont just wants to go kill a bunch of priests like whatever no he never says he wants to go kill priests so he actually he does he 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 mentions when he after he fights the priests who like apparently have ninja skills by the way well again it's that it's, it's, uh it's, that he would that if he was not so rusty they'd be dead. yeah uh, yeah so all right so we're gonna differ on the writing i saw the whole series i thought it got a lot but better as it the other wrong, point though i can understand your other things we, once something that we brought up last time is you know, you, you engage in the mechanics and the interactivity they, of a game, and that's hard to transfer. So something yeah. that they did try for some reason to transfer is the idea of walking around the town and talking to people. They have a, yeah. a scene that goes on too long of him just yeah, talking true, to random people and getting like little tidbits here and there of different opinions, like makes, as if you were in a game. A of, it adds to a lot to the story in the next couple episodes. Why? He, but, but it the was the fact that he did collect all that information and everything. So, uh, like, it's okay, but it's a bad it way important. of it. It was very important. You're right. They didn't need to do it so long, but it was very important that he did that in the story. Um, so that's that. But let's let's keep on moving. Let's move on to. Uh, <laughs> I guess we kind of just did it with writing, but plot, um, to be honest with you, the plot, like it just seems very basic. It's really just a setup for season two and it feels like they rushed a lot. And then sometimes they rushed like not enough in certain parts. Like Brendan was just saying with the, yeah, he, they show him talking to a whole bunch of people with no sound for like a minute. It feels like, and then they they just get little random tidbits of town conversation like you would in a video game. Of just sometimes people are just like, well, things have been really bad around here lately. And another person is like, well, <laughs> maybe they give you some valuable information. Yeah. And so they could have, they, it just feels like the plot is rushed in certain points and then it's not rushed enough in certain points. It feels like it's not very well paced, I didn't feel. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wasn't a big fan of the way the plot was progressed. And it, there was a really big moment in the very last episode, which I feel like they could have taken all three, all four episodes, uh, you know, taking the first three, condense those into one, and then just done the last three with what happens in the last one. And it would have been way better, but they, they didn't. And again, I feel like the plot was almost just, this was our, our, our little sneak peek into what the real series is going to be. Um, so I am interested in the way the plot will progress throughout the rest of the series because they have already confirmed a season two, but the plot wasn't really well paced. I, I'm guessing you agree with me. on that. Uh, I, I absolutely agree. One of the things that I kept thinking is this was an action game and we are mm-hmm. talking about a vampire hunter and Dracula and, and every there wasn't a bunch ton of, of action in the first two episodes. Yeah, you didn't yeah, see well, any of the action set pieces. They really they if, come in later. If we're doing four episodes, though, like I understand they're going to get more in, but over the course of four episodes, in the first two, every episode. yeah, Simon hasn't even fought any monsters yet. Or Who's what Simon? is not Simon? Uh, Trevor. Trevor, Trevor Belmont yeah. has not fought yeah. any of the monsters in the first half of the series. He has seen well, them and decided, like, yeah, th- there's some monsters not over very there. Well paid. Yeah, not very well paced, like I said. So he, he uh, fought some it, it, random it, other people because yeah. Like, <laughs> if they would have put this out and said, "Hey, this is going to be a really not quick even great setup action scenes for the rest of it, not a season." Not, if they didn't call this season one, I feel like I would view this show, uh, the plot of this show, yeah. a lot better. If they had just said, "Here's a teaser, an hour long teaser for 
uh, the real series that's coming down the road, I would have viewed this a lot differently. But no, I, I don't think I would view but it I great, though, either, right because, like, honestly, the reason I only watched two episodes, I thought I would I would watch more. I, I couldn't sleep last night, so I could have watched more. But it was honestly like a chore to sit through the episodes I did. I, I kept having was to like, remind. Hey, I know we were going to do a review on this, and I really had the time to to f- sit through and watch the rest of it. I just didn't want to. <gasps> Look, That's I, you're lucky I got through two episodes because, I, but especially during that second episode, I was like, okay, so this is an hour long thing, right? Like, wait, this is 22 minutes. Like, I thought I was already you know 40 minutes into this episode. It's just mm-hmm. dragging out, and like, not much is happening in certain parts, and th- when things are happening, yeah, like it's said, like it's not, not well written. It's, it's really not just well stupid. Well, let's keep on moving. Let's move to one of the things I thought they did do well, and that was the voice acting. I did think I, I did like the voice of Trevor Belmont, and I like the voice of a character that I won't say because it might be considered a little spoilerly. Um, Dracula, I also thought was voiced pretty well. The way he he did his different tones, and as a voice acting fan myself, uh, you can tell that I try to throw out voices all the time with very little success, but I still like to do it. Uh, it I, I did enjoy the voice acting. Of course, Brendan's going to come in with a different opinion. Go. Uh, I would say the voice acting was uh, okay. I, I, only count, I only shouted out two characters. I but, but again, two characters, a, I thought it was good. Dracula's wife was still annoying in in all respects, including the voice acting. Uh, some lines did seem like weirdly delivered. Some of it might not have been the acting itself, but just how they they put stuff in. And I did see this is somewhat technical, but there were a few um, scenes where you start seeing like Trevor talking long before any words start coming out. I didn't really know. So they didn't sync it up very well, but that's partially on the, the animation editing side, Um, Um, which let's, let's get into that. Let's get into the animation. I actually thought it was good animation. Um, I thought a lot of the visual effects were cool. The, the, uh, with the way they, uh, without spoiling anything, Dracula turns into like an inferno. And I thought that was Mm. a cool way of doing some things. And so I thought the animation was good. It's about as good as a quality of animation, Again, if you take it just as the way it looks itself, uh, as good as anything we've ever seen come out of Japan, in my opinion. I mean, it, it was pretty good. It reminded me a lot of Attack on Titan, to be honest with you. And I think Attack on Titan's animation is pretty top notch. And the I'll, gore definitely reminded me of Attack on Titan. So I probably should have um, asked my wife about the what she thought about the animation because she's got a really keen eye for for animation and everything like she'll notice which i don't which i don't yeah she'll notice uh animation dropping in animes all the time when i'm like what what are you talking about it looks the same um but i i would say that the animation was probably the best thing on this show but uh, again i would say it was it was okay um one of the things i was a little disappointed with is it didn't quite um match up as well as i would expect with the the game art that we're used to. Well, see, here's the thing. Which I, is okay. Well, which is the okay. Game totally different. But I thought like things that they took that were straight from the game, like Dracula's mm-hmm. castle, when they represented that. That that show, looked good. That, that looked good. Uh, I will absolutely admit, um, Dracula's I castle looked like good. They did the town that they're in? They did develop a unique mm-hmm. style for the town. I felt like it was a real town that you could find in any Eastern European country in around that time. Um, I thought the characters did look unique um, without. Some of the townspeople kind of blended in together and they were stupid looking, but the main characters looked unique enough and they had unique visual effects. Now, you really didn't see a lot of it because a lot of the the cool fight scenes and visual effects, and it's not really visual effects. It's just, you know, the way the the magic they use works and everything happens in the next two episodes, in the final two episodes. So it, it, I thought it it was, it was just well done. It reminded me of Attack on Titan and I I have fond memories of that. But I would also say my, well, I I don't think it's nearly as good of animation as Attack on Titan, but Attack on Titan had some really good animators to the extent that they, they couldn't make as much of it because they couldn't find enough people that could do that level um but like trevor belmont was a little bit disappointing like he was an okay interesting I that design- character i thought he looked cool but have you seen what trevor belmont looks in the original I, game art I don't care about the video game no no i'm just saying like he looks like a badass in this he looks like yeah he's he's a dark brooding guy that's are you wandering serious? Around. he had the game of thrones cape on he had all these cool daggers his whip his sword it looked awesome as opposed to what he looks like otherwise of like this is like 
badass, I'm going to destroy everything, Conan the Barbarian, but dressed up a little bit better. Uh, like, hey, let's like do that. this I even like kind the of Belmont guy. sigil on his clothes. I, 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 we're going to have to disagree I, on that because I liked it. I, I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just saying you that I, I like thought that they could have done better. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. And I like, again, I, I thought that the animation and the, the design was the best aspect of the show. But I just I wasn't blown away, and I thought they could have still done a little bit better job. Or I know it was going with what kind of theme that they were going with, but it just Fair didn't enough. mesh so agree to as disagree. well. We're, and, but I'm going to throw out my overall. Well, actually, Brendan, throw out your overall score. Give us what is your overall score of the first two episodes that you saw? Uh, one. I didn't even want to. He hated it. I well, did. I didn't want to continue. What, I didn't want to finish the second but, episode. But here's the thing: you didn't get did. to the. The actual good parts because yes, if the you first can't catch me in the first on. half of your season if you can't and make that's me why, that's why I have a problem and i was like, annoyed as as anything watching it it was just like if you're actively making me dislike you the show in the first whole enough. half of the season like yes two episodes in doesn't sound like luck but it's half of the season and it half felt again like it was they, half of a really longer season they're really like my score i gave it a 2.25 uh and that's because Number one, it's not a real season. Don't tell me this is a real season and give me th- uh, an hour and twenty, an hour and ten minutes, really, because it was like twenty minutes each episode. If you take out the the uh, you know the beginning theme and the ending theme, it really like I feel gypped. I did enjoy what I saw a lot more than Brendan, obviously, uh, especially since I saw the last two episodes. Brendan hasn't seen those. I would almost say Brendan go back and watch those last two episodes, and and then okay. really make your judgment call. Can, on it can they resolve they this problem? Can they resolve this problem with like the core concepts of the plot line? How somehow one of the big things that they're talking about is essentially unjust uh, persecution of people for using magic. But as it seems, everyone that's being persecuted for using magic is actually using magic. So how is that? Mm-hmm. Like they're setting it up as if cause, like the whole thing of the um, the wife. They say she's a woman of science, but she learned all her science from Dracula, who in the scene immediately afterward is summoning hordes of monsters. So he's doing magic. From what I understand from the actual Castlevania series. They're talking about science and you see the beakers go in and stuff like that. So they are talking about real science. They they, they don't establish it very much, though. You never see her doing any science. You know she's learning from someone that's doing magic. And in the original Castlevania series, when they do in later uh, later games talk about her, she actually is a witch. She's just outright as a witch. And there are other people in the show, and other like characters that are allied with the good side too, that are witches. Like the, magic is accepted in in the Castlevania world, and magic she's absolutely is a witch. By some people, some people. In the okay. Castlevania world. Again, the church in, is not but in the game, in the games, in the games, Again, they you are. didn't see the final two episodes, Brendan, so you don't know about all the. But magic also, like that does the speakers, out. the speakers, they're they're like thought to uh, accuse of using magic, but they they use magic, like don't they? Aren't they yes. a magic using gift? Yes, but they're accused of bringing the evil. They're not accused of using magic. They're accused of using From magic, th- dark they're, magic, to yeah. bring the evil people out. Well, so they're accused that because yeah, yeah. they have done magic, whatever. But they're like, oh, we're, but, yeah. but but you, they but are then, magic again, users. Again, Brendan, that all gets ironed out in the in the uh, the last two episodes. You'll see. I mean, a lot of that gets ironed out about the yes. I understand what you're saying, but again, you only watch half of the season, so I, it, it's hard to. I'm not saying they they make it perfect, but they do they do bring that a little bit more for, full circle, and they do show the hypocrisy of these people saying, "Hey, you're using magic, being witches and dark magic," but really those are the people who brought. It. Again, you gotta finish it. I'm not saying it's a great show. I still only gave it a 2.25, uh, just because again it's too short. Uh, there's too many unfinished ideas. The cool parts all happen like literally the last episode is really the only real good thing and that's because that's where all the action happens uh but they do answer some of those questions that they bring up and some of the criticisms Brendan had super valid i mean i'm not disagreeing but they kind of iron some of that out and they don't show the the wife ever using magic they just show her being a doctor no i'm saying they don't show her ever doing doing science either they yeah, show they her show showing up. They show her showing up at Dracula's house and then getting burned at the stake. That's literally yeah. all they show her. But Which and they is, say though, like, oh, clearly she's a woman of science, but she learned her science from Dracula, and the only thing we see Dracula doing is magic. No, you see, <laughs> but no, but they do show him doing science. They do show him with all the beakers. When she comes in, he's like, "I can teach you the science." No, no. Why would I? Teach okay, you? 
He show shows the items, signs, but the first thing we see him do is start doing lightning and turning things into flames and himself bursting after, into flames. And after the killer, yeah, yeah. Well, that's we don't see him using any of the scientific stuff either. We see him talking think, about summoning I, d- monsters. But I think that's he's like, it. I think I think they talk about him doing science. They talk about it being a real thing, and then they talk about and then yes, he switches over to the magic. Like maybe so if they they should have taken the whole first episode it wasn't to, well. to establish that. And then they yeah, should have gone probably. straight into the action immediately after. But instead, they do yeah. like five minutes of that to set up yeah. a long, boring story to not get to they, action. They don't pace it well. That's yeah. the problem. My overall problem with it. But I, I do think that they do have some shining moments, and they only show up in the in the last two episodes. Really, the last episode, if I'm fair. Um, and and that, that's a problem for me with a show that you're. So skip to the first three stuff. episodes because the plot setup is is terrible anyway. Here, let so. me tell you what happens. <laughs> In the first three episodes, uh, they burn Dracula's wife at the stake. He vows revenge on this this country uh, for killing his wife. Um, they show Trevor Belmont show up, and he's supposed to be a monster hunter from a family of monster hunters that's been excommunicated by the church. He tries to help another group of people that are being persecuted by the church and stumbles upon his real reason for wanting to be a Belmont and what he really wants to do with his life. And then... They start some action. So that's again, it's not well paced. Two point two five is a really bad score for me. If I don't, I don't. I give high scores on everything, so it's a really bad score for me when I go below two and a half. So right. I, don't know. I don't know. It it might be worth watching if you haven't already watched it, but I would almost wait and say wait until season two comes out and then watch season one with season two, and then you might get a full season because season two they've already announced is going to come out. It's going to be eight episodes long rather than the four. So I would say just wait for season two to come out, watch 12 episodes, then you get yourself a real season in terms of what anime usually does. It's 12 or 13 episodes. Per- well, this isn't even really – like it's animated, but this is uh, American-made. Uh, is this show. American-made? So it's not yeah. really anime, but it's anime style. Let's just say that. Kind of. Yeah, a, l- a little bit. It, I don't so, know. It, it did still have – it's it's fine though. It's – but we've gone on too long with our review. So, but hit us up. Let us know what you think. Uh, did you like it as much as I did, which is not very much, or did you hate it as much as Brendan did? Or if you if you disagree with both of us, hit us up. Let us know why we're stupid. Comments down below, of course. At which my face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Oh, is good ways getting a hold of us.